I was told that people who have gender dysphoria need to transition. Like, they can't survive without transitioning. And where I made a grave error was thinking that I needed to change my body. To everyone celebrating Transgender Day of Visibility, I want you to know that your president sees you and we're committed to advancing transgender equality in the classroom, on the playing field, at work, in our military, in our housing and healthcare systems, everywhere. Simply everywhere. Simply everywhere. Simply everywhere. Simply, 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 simply everywhere. Simply everywhere. Parents are terrified to take their children to the doctor. I see this all the time in parenting groups. They say, my child has anorexia, my child is self-cutting, my child threatens suicide. Where can I take my child for help? You take the child to the emergency room, the emergency room's going to move them toward transition. And if you don't agree as a parent, you're going to get cut out of the equation. If you are a licensed medical professional and you have a girl who doesn't feel comfortable being a girl, identifying as a girl, living as a girl, and you help her feel comfortable being a girl, that's considered conversion. But if you give that girl testosterone, if you perform it of a mastectomy on that girl, if you convert her into a boy, that's considered affirmation, right? It's totally Orwellian language. I went cold and I started shaking and I thought, I must be misreading this because it sounds like they're trying to ban the kind of therapy that helped me. It was so hard for me to recognize and see that it's my profession that's hurting children. At this point, I would tell parents that they should not have their kids in public education because there's too much going on behind parents' backs. How are you going to heal a wounded heart by operating on people's genitals? And yet, my profession fully embraced that now. This is the one condition in the whole world where, where we let a child self-diagnose themselves as being the opposite sex and just go along with whatever they want. What's the point of these endocrinologists going to school for eight years to become a specialist doctor when they just listen to a 10-year-old that walks into their office? Treating them with hormones and surgery doesn't fix a broken identity. I was in worse condition than when I initially started. I had more problems seven years down the road than I had when I first transitioned. The present stage of the sexual revolution amounts to a vast intergenerational science experiment. I mean, essentially, in a nutshell, is a kind of a, a war with reality. So much of this movement, the trans movement, is it doesn't want to recognize the obvious limits to humanity. We want to be God to form our body and our image and make it how we want it to be. In the old world, God was the hero, the creator, the one who created us with a nature to which we had to conform ourselves in order to flourish. The modern narrative is really one where Satan is the hero. We live in an age where the body itself has become very depersonalized and objectified. And this is really death dealing. Indeed, the very definition of death is the separation of the body and the soul. I wish I could just like very harshly say to my young pre-testosterone but trans-identifying self like don't do any of this, don't go on T, don't get surgery, don't even change your name, like just, just stop.